Hey all friends, welcome to the channel, Bob here, and today uh, I'm getting myself uh, the rod of insidious glamour today, because <laughs> I did get 39 yesterday, but yesterday showed me that I've been putting off the global cooldown stuff for far too long, so <laughs> it's time to get it done. Um, I'm in Lower Guck, um, at the priest who drops the, I think it's the priest who drops the golden rod um, that you need for the quest, so... I've got no control over my pet. I always forget that with the thingy pet. But uh, yeah, not too much of a problem. We really shouldn't have any problems here. Um, let's just pull the priest up. Hopefully. We can't see our target from here. Nope. Maybe it's because I'm a short, short, short chap today. No. Okay. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Uh, okay. What have I got to hit him with? Nothing. Oh, well, line of sight's always good, isn't it? Always works well. Come on. Choking, aren't you? <laughs> oh, dear. Am I carrying anything? I'm carrying a dagger, actually. Okay, well, let's do that. There we go. Problem solved. Oh, he's got the rod in his hand. Look, awesome. Yeah, my pet looks like he's doing all the right stuff. Um, yeah, he's carrying it in his hand. Look at that, golden rod. Excellent. Come on now, pet. You're, you must be 15 levels higher than this mob. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we've got the golden rod, which is the first part of... Oh, I let him clear those out. Yeah, so we're doing the insidious glamour. Rod of insidious glamour. Now, I just need a global cooldown, basically. And this is upper gut, the first part, where we need the golden rod. How's a pet doing? I can't imagine a pet's going to have any problems here. Uh, yeah, there's a golden rod, first part. So next we need to go to, I'm not sure I'll check, but I know we need to, we need to visit Cynthia at some point to get her to um, enchant something. But we'll uh, we'll see how we go. I don't think, you do get another name here, but I don't think it's going to drop anything particularly that, that I'm, going to, uh, I'm going to be interested in. So, yeah, we've got our first part. Let's move on to the next one. Hello guys, welcome back to the video. So the next step is we need a glowing stone, um, f well, a shining stone from a shadow man. Uh, this stuff's no rent, so you kind of need to do this, you know, all in one go. So that's what we're going to try and do. We're sitting here for about 10, 15 minutes now because I had a bit of an issue in um, <laughs> Guck where I should have probably been killing Shadow Men in a full swamp because it's right outside. But for some reason I got stuck in the water in Guck and started drowning. So I had to gate out. And uh, yeah, I, gate, I had to gate out to um, uh, to East Commons, which is where I was. So I've come to, uh, yeah, I've come to Commons. And this is where we're going to kill our Shadow Men. This is West Commons, by the way, right in the corner. Uh, I'm not sure if it's. I'm not sure if it's like a 100% drop. Um, we will see what we shall see. Dual wielding Shadow Man there. The pet's kind of got aggro. Yep, <laughs> got aggro. Okay. Yep. So we need a Shining Stone. Then we need. We need. Then we need to go and get that enchanted with Cynthia in. Um, Wrath Mountains, I think it is, yeah. Then we need to go to High Keep, someone else to do something with it. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it's 100% drop, but we will we will see. I'm so looking forward to getting this, just to, I think it's, it's some more stats, obviously, um, but just to have a global cooldown. I was thinking, all the while I was killing those um, guard jester, I was thinking, oh my God, having to wait for this cooldown to, you know, to Mez, Tash, Root, whatever it is you're doing. 
just uh yeah a bit of a nightmare oh they run away shadow man didn't expect that i thought they would uh, i thought they would just be the normal um yeah normal dead stuff the stuff that no the dead normally do um Oh, I'm not 39 pet. What's it hitting? I don't know what it's hitting for max there. It wasn't super good though. Got a shining stone. Rapier. I think Ray isn't rapier for the um, glowing gloves. Enchanter. That might be for some glove upgrades. I'm going to take that. Take the rune. This is a shining stone. So I think those gloves might be for another quest. Um, I don't think this stuff is any good to me in any way. I'm not sure if it sells or anything. It's no rent. I think the rapier is for the journeyman boots, which I probably need to do at some point. There's a druid been sitting here for quite some time. It hasn't done anything. So I'm not sure if he's someone who is selling... Um, yeah. Uh, J boots. But yeah, we, any, anyway, we've got what we need from this point. And um, I, think, I think my next step is to go to... Uh, Cynthia, uh, you need 50 gold as well, remember. So we will head there and get that bit sorted out. Hello, welcome back. So we're at we're in Raft Mountains, we're at the Gypsy Camp, and here is Cynthia. And I'm always I'm not sure if anyone else is like this. I guess it's because it's a time thing generally. Um, lots of running around. Well, they're saying that I'm. I'm I would recommend if you do this quest or any quest, run around and do it because you see the world, you see you see the zones. I think there's a reason why you have to go to Guck to get the rod and then get a gem and then come here to get it enchanted, then go somewhere else. So these quests kind of take you all over the world and you get to be able to just see stuff that you wouldn't normally see. Um, I think people do get kind of attached to the porting thing, and it is useful, but um, sometimes you see people asking for ports, and they're only going like two zones over, and literally sitting there for 10, 15, 20 minutes, calling out for a port, and you just think, just run, just run there, you could have been there by now, <laughs> I don't understand that mentality, um, but yeah, if you do quests, just run around, run around, I think it's so much more fun. Um, so, I'm always a bit nervous at this kind of thing, turn-ins, because uh, although I do enjoy running around, um, yeah, having to repeat stuff because the turn-in doesn't work is frustrating. But what we need to do here is give Cynthia uh, the Shining Stone plus 50 gold. I'm not sure if you need to do it in a particular order, but we will go, we will do it this way. Cool. Okay, we got a bit of experience as well. So we've now got a glamour stone. So now we need to go. She tells you where to go. I'm I've enchanted your shining stone to take it further. To get it further enchanted, take this to Tarn Vasilin in High Keep. Uh, Tipping fifty gold, which is what we will do. The gloves that I picked up are also part of a part of the uh, um, soul quests. Uh, soul temple quests for the enchanter i need to get three other pairs i think i've done a video on that i've also I think i've done a video on this before but you know i'm playing i'm doing it so let's uh yeah <laughs> let's uh let's record it again why not um so we, we now need to go to high keep um, i'm trying to think of the easy the quickest way for me to go i'm still bound in east commons i could run through the karana's but I'm still bound in East Common, so I think I'm probably it might be better off. It might be better for me to port to East Commons, West Commons, Forest, um, and then through to uh, yeah, through to I keep that way. I think that might be the way to go, particularly as it's daytime. So running through Kiffercourt shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, so I think we'll probably do that. One thing before I do take off, um, and that is, uh, Cynthia is a good camp as well. She's there is no faction. She's still blue to me at level thirty nine. Um, I did this camp a lot on a shaman a few years ago now on blue, 
Um, you can even do it on good races because I said there's no faction hit. Nothing assists her as far as I'm aware. It never used to anyway. So yeah, um, a good camp. So I would recommend doing that. I think what I'm going to do when I tr when I teleport to when I gate is probably going to buy my 39 spells because I haven't got those yet. I also haven't got Benevolence, which is a faction raising spell and I think I might need that for the final turn in but anyway yes we'll be we'll be back hello welcome back to the video so we're at Tarn Vasilin um, in High Hold Keep um, yes and we need to do the same with him as we did with Cynthia now don't make the mistake I made I bought my, bought my 39 spells on my way through they never had any gold <laughs> So I had to, I had to go to the bank in high hold, and I'd been killing guards here. So yeah, <laughs> to use the banker, the banker was dubious, but I used benevolence on on her, and uh, that worked. So yeah, just make sure that you don't make that slight error. But being an enchanter, it worked out in the end. So Tarvasilin, give him the gem plus fifty gold. Fingers crossed. There we go. Glowing glamour stone. Uh, now I think that is pretty much it. We now just we need to re we need to return. I said return. We haven't been there yet because I've I didn't go and pick up the quest. But we need to go to Saltin in a temple of Silasek Row. Give him the rod and the stone, and we should get our rod. Um, yeah, I'll be back for that final final section. Our friends, welcome back to the end of our quest, our epic quest, to get ourselves a rod, a glamorous rod. Um, and here we are with Saltin in uh, Temple of Row, and yeah, he, he I think he's responsible for all of the quests, I believe, for the Enchanter stuff, including the Incandescent Armours. Um, I think there's a way of telling, if you hail him... Um, I'm salting. Tell me about the rod. I am interested in obtaining the rod. Now, if your faction's not right, he says. I just need. Okay, I'm interested in obtaining the rod. That seems like a reasonable response to that question. I am interested in the rod. Ah, so he can't he can't trust us basically. Because our faction is not good enough. But as an enchanter. We will cast Benevolence on him. Uh, let's check now. And there's no amiable. So if we ask that question, so that's how you know. If you ask the question again. Okay. So hopefully now this is where things things work. <laughs> uh, amiable. So give him that one and that one. Well, I don't think we have to give him any gold. No. Is it the glowing glamour stone? Yes. Boom! There we go. Miserable amount of XP. You always go in for quests and have a quest. Rod of Insidious Glamour. There you go. Nice bit of charisma. Um, but Alliance is the effect. So it insta casts Alliance and, it, and that um, basically, uh, yeah. Uh, it basically kills the global cooldown so you can then start casting the spell again straight away let's put it on there we go I lost my light source which is a bit a bit frustrating that's okay there we go bare chested rodded up as they say anyway that's it guys yes we've got the rod we've completed our quest um and I might do the quest for the gloves because that's got a few nice that's got a few nice stats on it. And I've, I was only wearing until I put on the actual gloves I got, which don't have any effect on them at the moment. 
Um, yeah, I need three other pairs. I might go around and get those, maybe. Uh, or I might just do some um, more XPing first. So, yeah, so I've got that. Now what I need to do is knuckle down and get some XP done. Um, <clears throat> we're approaching a hell level. Uh, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm not quite sure where to go next. I might check out a place I've never been before. Um, is Soleil. Um, I've, I've been there. Actually, I'm, I think I went in there for Shaman once to kill some kill some dogs but that's about it so i might go and have a look in there to see if there's a little spot i can park myself but anyway yeah um you have to get some leveling done thanks for watching